Alright, so today we're going to be talking about burning and dodging, which is making shadows like this on your bunny. And before we start, I just want to recommend getting a tablet, which is a, a drawing pad that connects to your computer through a USB port. So it's like drawing with a pen on the pad and it transfers into any program you want. So that's what I'm using right now. And I think that's also a really good investment if you're serious about learning Photoshop because that's you're going to be using those a lot to make details and draw and it just helps overall with your Photoshop program. So to begin, let's look at this bunny. So we see that the the start of it, it's really light right here and then in the back it's really dark and between is some midtones. So if we want to recreate this Let's go to our bunny, and this is our bunny. So, as you can see, I added a hat and a green bat on top of the original bunny. So, burning and dodging tools are located on the side right here, where there's either a hand, a pin, or a sponge. So, right now we're going to start with burning. So, select the hand. Then, you go over this to the side and go to your bunny where your actual bunny color is and you do command J on a Mac or control J to recreate that layer into another layer so now you have a copy of it because you if you mess up and you want to go back you wouldn't be able to but with this you could just delete this and start over so we select our background copy or your bunny copy and you go to burn and up here the range there's shadows midtones and highlights so if your color is really bright you want to select highlights because this is the thing that you're gonna change so let's say your bunny was black you would want to select shadows because it was so dark you would think it was a shadow so this is what you want to edit so highlights for a bright color like this and then you make sure you have your burn tool selected and you can just start drawing and you see how it's making a shadow but it's not it's not overriding the hat or anything this is because it's just doing it on this layer and then if you go over it again it'll become even darker and again it'll become darker and you can just keep doing this again and again until you like the way it looks and if you see that it's getting too dark you could go to shadows and then midtones you want to edit midtones you could start doing some of those and then if you, you see it's getting too dark you go to the dodge tool which makes it lighter so I'll have midtones selected for this and as you as you do it you can see it's getting lighter and it's going kinda slow because the exposure up here is at fifty percent so that's basically how hard it's pressing and actually burning that color in so I'll put it at a hundred for this because I really want to get some of these darks out of here and you'll have to go back and forth and kinda play around with this so let's go and go back to our burn tool and make a dark color on the back and kind of fade into it now you're gonna spend a lot more time on this probably because you want it to look better than this but I'm just showing you an example so let's say that you're done with your colors and that's the shadow you want so if you want to on the ground make a shadow you could burn a shadow in oh I'm gonna select highlights for this because it's bright and you can burn a shadow in see as in this one there's a shadow on the ground and he has shading in the feet and on the sides so you want to shade the feet if you want 
and this is assuming that there's a light source coming from up here because as the rays go down it makes bright spots over here and dark spots behind it so then you you can make your shadow also fade in make it really dark and go into a lighter one and then as you see it's starting you're not getting enough uh, burn into that you could switch to midtones and then make some darker and fade into it and then go to shadows for really dark and then you can keep keep experimenting with that so that's what burning and dodging is and as, as I said before I would also recommend getting a tablet for easier drawing and just a overall better experience so that's the lesson today you could experiment try to make yours look something like this because I think this is a pretty good example you could play with the highlights which is dodging make them lighter burning make them darker oh and one last thing before before I cut this video off you could use the smudge tool right here which is the finger which I think is one of the coolest things in Photoshop because you could actually smudge the colors like you would with your finger with colored pencils so you could actually smudge them around like this make them stroke in different ways and actually make it look a lot better and then you could smudge this make it flow together better but you'll only smudge the layer that you're on and can control Z or command Z to go back a last step and so that's basically what this lesson was about you, you could experiment on your own uh, if you don't like it remember that you can delete your copy like that and then just create another one and start over yeah so comment rate and subscribe I'd really like to hear what you guys think of these and what you would like to learn, what I could do better.